it's reading all of the page everything so it's reading all the profiles of the jobs and applying accordingly it should search for web developer jobs in usa it is supposed to apply on each of the jobs so now it's filling the form and submitting it how this ai agent can actually do the shopping for you it's also going to do the checkout go to that website and it is going to search for the best prices i told it to buy some good clothes for me this is amazing like i'm sitting here and the ai controlling all of your system and performing the task hello guys how are you i hope so you guys are doing great in the last video when i made ai agent that automates your instagram you guys gave me so much love so i decided to create an ai agent that is much more advanced than that it cannot just automate your social media it is more likely your personal assistant it has capability to operate your system and perform the regular tasks it can even go through your cv and apply for the job it can even help you generate leads for your business so you have got your next vacation trip to bali it can find you the best room with the best prices so this is the future guys and the future is now like always i have already written the whole code for you you just have to clone the repo you also need to add few prompts in the terminal all of those prompts are already mentioned in the readme file add api key of your desired llm model and you are good to go but if you want to go deep into the project and how i made this then you have to watch the video till then and this tutorial is going to be free of cost because we will be using gemini api key so you don't have to pay for the credit and guys in the end i have got the bonus surprise for you i will show you how you can run this automation on a beautiful ui ux design instead of interacting with the code every time so let's start with the demo okay first you have to do is you have to create a folder and then you can open that folder into the cursor or vs code and then you simply need to clone the repo So now you have to enter the new folder. I have written each of the step in the readme file but I am going to help you go through it step by step as well. Let me first help you go through the file structure. The main folder that we have got is browser.use and as you can see it has multiple folders within itself. Now guys these are the core logic of this project. Now this agent folder basically handles the logic of the AI agent. Now this browser basically manages the interaction between our AI agent and the browser. Now this is the important file the example one. This example file basically contains a lot of use cases and a lot of templates for this AI agent. So we will be exploring them one by one. This static folder just contains some images. Now, as you guys know, this env folder contains all the API keys. Now, this is the very important file pyproject.toml because it contains all the dependency that we are going to install. Okay, guys, so what we are going to do first is we are going to create an environment. You can simply copy paste from the readme file as well. I have written the commands over there. So now we have created the environment. We have to activate the environment. Now the environment has been created. So we have cloned the file. I have told you the file structure and we have created the environment and now we are inside the environment as well. Okay, so now you have to install dependencies like pip install browser use. Basically, it gives power to your AI agent to operate your browser. So there are multiple libraries that you have to install. So I would suggest you, you can just copy paste for now and then you can explore them later on. They are installing right now. So now you have to install these as well. Okay, so we are done with the libraries. So now we have all the necessary libraries required to run this AI agent. Now we have to integrate our LLM model. And for that, we need to create .env file. So we are going to make use of Gemini API key. You can copy anyone as per your desired requirement. So now to get Gemini API key, you have to go to your browser. You can simply go to aistudio.google.com slash API key. And then you can click on create API key. And, and you can simply create your API key from here. You can simply paste your API key over here. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do next is we are going to create a very simple kind of hello world file to test if our AI agent is working or not. So to do that, you can simply create a file by the name simple.py. I have already coded this file. So now we have given a very simple task to our AI agent that to go to devmatesolutions.com. And let's see if this is working or not. Let's see if this is working or not. It should open the browser by itself and it should go to the website. Okay, as you can see, a browser by itself has opened. So I'm not even touching the laptop right now. This is all happening by itself. So the task has been done. Go to the website and it has gone to the website. Okay, guys, so now we have some templates and some use cases that you can run. So one of the very interesting use case is you upload your CV. This AI agent goes through your CV and applies for the jobs related to your CV. And for that, what you have to do is you have to first upload your CV in the root. Like I have uploaded my CV over here because my CV is in the PDF format and we do not have any library that can read the PDF. So for that, you have to install one more library and what that one is, pip install py pdf. Now a agent can also read the PDF files. So now what you have to do is you have to simply run it and this is by the way located in examples and the use cases. So we are going to write examples. 
find and apply to jobs.py okay. as you can see i am sitting over here not doing anything so by the way i have given it my email and password it is going to e okay it's okay okay it's reading all of the page everything it should search for web developer jobs in usa oh. and by the way guys you can also connect with me this is my linkedin zainul abidin okay now it is supposed to apply on each of the job okay so now it's filling the form and submitting it is going to go to the next job do the very same thing and this process will keep on repeating so now because it knows my resume so it is going to the jobs and seeing if that job is good for me or not so it's reading all the profiles of the jobs and applying accordingly so now this is the first use case let's move towards the next use case and that is also one of my favorite and that is going to be how this ai agent can actually do the shopping for you till the checkout and we just have to replace find and apply jobs to shopping.py okay this is also very amazing guys because now you're sitting here you have given it the description you have told this ai agent that this is the type of shopping that you want and what it's going to do is it's going to go to that website and it is going to search for the best prices it went to noon.com and now it's searching for that items like i told it to buy some good clothes for me it's checking all the clothes and now clicking on the best one okay this is amazing like i'm sitting here and the ai controlling all of your system and performing the task is also going to do the checkout i don't want that so i'm going to stop the ai agent right now i don't want to buy this that was just to show you guys i'm for the for the surprise the bonus that i told you about the bonus is right now as you saw we were actually creating the files and we were running the file on the python so now i'm going to show you how you can simply give the prompt on a very beautiful ui ux for that what you have to do is one time you have to run this file and that file is basically located in the examples in the ui by the name gradio demo so you just have to run this file basically you need to first install gradio to run this Let's try to run it again. Let's see. It should be running. Yeah, because we have installed the dependency now. Okay. Okay. So now it's running, guys. It's running on local host. And let's see the local host. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to add your OpenAI key over here. I probably assume you know how to get your OpenAI key. Okay. You can simply get your OpenAI key. I'm also going to paste the link as well from platform.openai.com/setting/organization/api key. Okay guys, so now once you have the OpenAI API key and you are on the browser, your project is running over here. So what you have to do is you have to simply give it the command, guys. You can choose the model as well. Find uh, flight from London, UK to Dubai at best rate. You have to simply run the task, and this AI agent will work for you guys. It's as simple as that. So you see, it's gonna open by itself. Flight from London to Dubai, best rates, and it's going to search that for you. So I think that's it. So now here we have got the output for the task as well. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want me to make some AI agent for you guys, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'm running an AI automation agency by the name DevMed Solutions. So if you want any services related to tech and especially AI, like if you want AI call assistant, AI chatbot, we are going to do that for you guys. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. Take care.